Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. I'm Steve. And I'm Gary. And uh, today we're going to show you a quick demo on how to start your computer in safe mode. Um, if you've ever called tech support or uh, even looked online at some more technical information, probably you've seen how to start your computer in safe mode or someone's told you how to start your computer in safe mode. But today we're going to show you because a lot of times what we, what we encounter is that it's not as easy as it seems on paper. You have, to, you have to press the key at the right time, you have to have the right timing and the right, you know, everything has to work out right in order for it to work. Right, and now, safe mode isn't something you just go into for fun either. Safe mode is a diagnostic mode and it's a repair mode of Windows. The reason you would get into safe mode is because maybe you're on the phone with tech support and they're telling you to get into safe mode or maybe you have something wrong with your computer and you've looked online and said, oh yeah, I have to do this and it says to boot into safe mode. Bottom line is when you go into safe mode, you probably either have someone on the phone or you have some instructions in hand that are going where you're going to go through some step-by-step -step processes. And the reason that you have to be in safe mode to do it is because the files and systems that you're working on or replacing or whatever are unavailable or being used when Windows is operating normally. So when you get into safe mode, it's going to start the computer at the bare minimum. Absolutely the, the, the littlest bit it needs to get started. So uh, why don't we go ahead and turn to the computer here and we'll show you exactly how to get your computer in safe mode. Okay, let's see. The first step into getting into safe mode is going to be to restart our computer. So you can hit the start button. Since this is Windows 7, we have to click this little arrow here. And now we're going to select restart. And the computer is going to go through its shutdown sequence. Now, the first thing you're going to see when this is done doing that is your splash screen. It'll either be your BIOS information or possibly, you know, just a splash screen. This is a gateway, so that's going to come up. Once you see that, let that go for a second or two and start pressing your F8 key. You got to have that F8 key is going to tell it to go ahead. I'm pressing it now. Is going to give us this menu. If you don't press the F8 key or if you do it too late, you're going to see the starting Windows thing and then you got to wait for it to boot and then you got to try this again. What we're looking for here is safe mode where I'm going to use the arrow key. I can arrow up and down and uh, notice there's a bunch of other boot options here you can do. So if you're ever doing some kind of diagnostic or you're following some instructions, if it says to boot a certain way, probably that F8 key is going to get you there. For our purposes today, we want safe mode. Now I'm going to press enter. And it's going to go, oh my gosh, look at that. Did we break our computer? No. This is just telling you exactly what it's loading. It's uh, the System32 drivers for the most part. This is just the absolutely essential stuff to, uh, to bring Windows up. It's going to keep all the unnecessary stuff from, uh, from running there. It's going to take in a minute or two here. Uh, with safe mode, what's important is not so much what you have running is what you don't have running. There are certain things you can do in safe mode because files are dormant, they're just not being used at the time, that you just can't do under uh, in Windows regularly. So here we go, we're into safe mode. And as you can see, everything looks a little bit bigger because our video driver wasn't loaded. It just has a very generic driver in there. We can do all sorts of uh, uh, diagnostic stuff, registry repairs, uh, get rid of viruses, whatever we need. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. And let's say we went through our procedure, everything's working, and now we're ready to get back to regular Windows. How the heck do we do it? We're gonna go down to our Start menu. And again, here's our shutdown. We're just gonna hit this little thing right here and click Restart. And that'll do it, it'll shut Windows down, and it's gonna reboot, and just don't press F8, just let everything go, and you'll be right back into, uh, into regular uh, Windows before you know it. All right, there you go. That's how to start the computer in safe mode. Now, I, I think probably the most important thing that we, that we absolutely have to stress here, and the one mistake that everybody makes when they're getting into safe mode, is that they're way afraid of the keyboard. Like, you don't want to press the button, you don't want to press F8 too fast. I gotta tell you, it's not, it's keep pressing it. You want to keep pressing F8 until you get that screen and it asks you to start in safe mode. That is absolutely the most important part. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the video today. Remember, if you're uh, watching this on YouTube, head over to worldstart.com, check out all of our tips. Make sure you sign up for our computer tips newsletter. We send out all sorts of great tips every day, including these great videos that you're watching right now. If you have a question for us, go to worldstart.com slash ask. We'll put a little uh, link right down there so you can follow that. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.